Welcome back to Church Production, I'm Marcel Patillo. Recently we got a chance to partner with Pixera to get a deeper look into their Pixera 4, a media server made to handle the most extreme of real-time graphics. We're talking XR, AR, 8K at 60p. It is literally the definition of power in a rack mount form. So we sent the Pixera 4 over to our friend Sean Miller at Rolling Hills Community Church to see if he could help with their multi-projector system. But before we get started, give this video a like and let's get to know Sean Miller, the Central Production Director at Rolling Hills Community Church. Hey, I'm Sean Miller. I'm the Central Production Director for Rolling Hills Community Church uh, here in Central Tennessee. Rolling Hills, we just ce celebrated our 20th anniversary and uh, we're a multi-site church. I think we're up to six campuses, thriving online campus, loving every moment of it. We're, we're trying not to be, uh, you know, bleeding edge with technology, but we do love using it. Uh, we love to be more cutting edge, maybe as they would say. Not afraid to try new things and uh, see what we can do to use technology to further the gospel. That's one of the things I absolutely love about getting to be on the staff here at Rolling Hills. So the really cool thing about Sean Miller and Rolling Hills Church is they are about 10 minutes, if not less, right down the road from me. They are a pretty large church right here in Franklin, Tennessee, where I get to live and work. And I know for a fact that they would need a powerhouse like the Pixera 4 for their really elaborate system. So I was anxious to hear from Sean what his first impressions were of the Pixera 4. So at Rolling Hills, we have at our main uh, Franklin campus, where I'm at most of the time, we have what we call our upstage environmental wall. And it's a, it's a three blend projector system currently. It's 40 feet wide, 13 feet tall, whatever that ratio comes out to, to be a triple wide essentially. So going into this uh, evaluation, when we were asked if we wanted to demo and, and use the Pixera uh, 4, you know, we sat down and, and had a video meeting with their team. And you know, questions I had going into it come from years ago of using a media server and wanting to pull what's left of my hair out. Is this going to interact well with, you know, older projectors and blending of screens? You know, has, has it really, is it really dialed more towards LED walls and that stuff now? So getting to sit down with their team ahead of time was so helpful. Come to find out their team worked on some of the older stuff I was used to and knew the pains I had there. And so they knew how to fix it in the Pixera. And so getting the Pixera and seeing that was really cool to know, oh wow, things have come a long way. So one thing about churches and production, they vastly range in the kind of gear they use. Some use older gear and some use newer gear. Some use a mixture of both. Some use this brand, some use that brand, some use a mixture of both. And setting up a new media server in any system can be quite complicated and time consuming. But Sean goes on to elaborate what it was like setting this up for the first time at Rolling Hills. I think the first thing I wanna say is the support that came from Pixera was outstanding. Like the guys, you know, obviously they wanted this to work, but I don't think they were treating me any different than anybody else who calls them because they have really big clients. I'm like talking to a sales guy like, hey, and he's like, let me get so-and-so on the phone and literally conferences in some somebody that's out on site at somebody else. And he answers and he walks me through something and boom, it was done. Or team viewer in and, and check this out or, or whatnot. So the, their ability to help was just amazing. It was exponentially easier to integrate than I expected. Uh, even just the, the integration side of just setting it there in the booth and plugging it in was easy and then turning it on and getting it to talk and doing the initial blend and all that, I just blew my mind with how simple this was and how easy this was. And the fact that Pixera knows what projectors I have, now I had to tell it, it's not crazy, that, that crazy. But like, I, it has a library of projectors and LED and all that. And so I'm going in and I tell it, I have this model projector from this company and it knows what to do. And so then you're like putting it into space on the their little rent, their uh, 3D environment. And I had the thing blended faster than I think I've ever blended something in my life, which at Rolling Hills with a projection screen like that, we do a lot of blending and fixing of the blend and adjusting of the blend. And so this, this was just amazing. 
The Pixera 4 is like the latest and greatest when it comes to media servers, and it has capabilities far beyond what most of us would use it for. Extended reality, and augmented reality, and uncompressed 8K at up to 60 frames a second. It can hold up to 61 terabytes of storage and transfer at 20 gigabytes a second, which is faster than my brain can comprehend. So I had to know from Sean, with their elaborate system over at Rolling Hills, what could this do for them that they could not do before? So the things that the Pixera 4 brought to us that we can't do currently, it, it allows for thinking of the our back screen 40 feet wide, think of it as a giant canvas with Pixera. What we're currently locked into is if we wanna do something in the upper right quadrant, that has to be a graphic that's made somewhere else in Photoshop or Illustrator or something and sent to us on a canvas that matches our, our dimensions. With Pixera, I can put it anywhere I want without having to edit it first. So I could take any size photo, any size video, render it out to a size I want and put it anywhere on that screen that I want instantaneously, essentially. And, and even then beyond that, the ability to bring video into it. So we could still bring ProPresenter into it. We can still bring live lyrics into it so you're not sitting there typing that out but now you're telling it hey put this live video feed because it doesn't care what it is go put this anywhere you want on the screen and bounce it around or do what you want you know and the the, the time save and the the feature set just really opens up a whole new world so let's get down to business what kind of church is the pixera 4 really for it's got a lot of utility and even more features, but I was anxious to hear from Sean what kind of church he would say this suits really well. You know, we demoed the Pixera 4, which I believe is the flagship. There are other lines from this. There's the Pixera 1, I think 2, 3, you know, and so there's the capabilities of them change, and I still think they're loadable with, oh, you want this card, this capability. I would have to guess the majority of churches these days are using video the Pixera 1 or 2, you know, may work absolutely fine for what they're doing. And so for us, that was one of the big things where we're blending three screens, plus we added two additionals, our side screens. And so we were actually sending signal to five screens, which is where the Pixera 4 really helped because of the amount of outputs it had. If you're not dealing in 4K ingest video, you're not bringing 4K content in, well, you probably don't need as big of a processor or that size input. I'm not in 4K, so we didn't either, but uh, that's one of the things I love is that there's something for everyone in this. So a big thank you to Pixera for sending out the Pixera 4 and to Sean Miller at Rolling Hills Community Church for taking the time and giving us your insight. Sean has so much time in this game and so much wisdom and insight. He's one of those guys I just want to sit down with and pick his brain about church tech from the past and the present and where he thinks it's going in the future. This guy's seeing it all. But for now, make sure to subscribe to the Church Production YouTube channel and definitely check out churchproduction.com for new articles, insights, and inspiration on everything church production. As always, you guys, I'm Marcel Patillo. I'll see you all in the next one.